I made this kerf maker widget some years ago and what a kerf maker helps you do is to cut a notch into a piece of stock that's exactly the size of another piece of stock and you might not think that's a big deal you might be inclined to simply line up an edge on your table saw make your cut and then use the stock as a guide to offset the next cut then hug out the middle and what you find is you have a notch cut out that's the thickness of your stock plus one additional thickness of the saw blade and the thickness of that is known as the kerf so the construction is pretty simple I'm not going to go into a great amount of detail uh, you have a body with a sliding carriage on it uh, mine slides about an inch and a half which I think is a good dimension uh, if you were cutting a slot or a kerf much bigger than that you're probably not going to use the uh, hog it out with the table saw technique um, I use a thumb screw here you want to make sure whatever you use doesn't overhang the edges of the kerf maker because it's made to sit flat on your uh, table saw or sled and uh, if it's wings of a wing nut uh, it might interfere with that on this end you have a fence and this forms a set of jaws and these jaws are used to reference the cut. You put the piece you want to match the kerf to in the jaws and cinch it down. And on the business end you have a parallel face parallel to the fence and the movable carriage is the reference and there's something on this end that needs to compensate for the thickness of the saw blade. I use the screw. I think it's the easiest and best technique to use. This offset right here is for the uh, 16th of an inch saw blades that I commonly use in my table saw. The advantage of a screw is if I change saw blades, I can readjust the kerf maker to that particular saw blade by just adjusting the screw. I also put a little tick mark on it, which allows you to, uh, allows you to fine tune to get a perfect cut uh, with, the, with the kerf maker jig. I've actually ended up using this thing a few times and it has helped. For example, I used it when I built this jig to cut this kerf in the piece of wood and it proved to be very useful. I tried to use the kerf maker when I cut this slot, but this actually isn't quite as thick as two saw blade thicknesses. So the first cut went fine and when I used the kerf maker to offset it, I found that my blade flexed when I made the second cut. So I ended up with a perfect kerf the bottom of the cut it was going through the table saw like this so this was the the table here but it was narrow at the top and I had to do a little bit of work to clean that up so it didn't it doesn't work at least in my case if you're uh, narrower than two saw blade kerfs I also used it to cut the kerf in this piece of wood for the sliding mechanism on this marking gauge and it proved to be very handy for that if I were to redo it my only criticism for this particular gauge is it might be a little longer than it needs to be. So here for example if I wanted to cut a slot into this 2x2 two by, two by stock the first cut might be referenced against the flat then the second cut is referenced against the screw. 